Yo, what's cooking good lookings? It is Soling Entertainment TV, and we are back with another episode of Dead Frontier Hardcore. As you know, one life and one life only. And today we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit harder, maybe. Pause on that. Um, we're going to be fighting our first boss today. It's just a flaming zombie, so no big deal, right? But I don't know how much this cricket bat is going to do smashing him in the head, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm joined by Brandon, as usual. What's up? Jesus Christ. We'll get a hang of it one day, y'all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we one will see day. you when uh we'll see you when we're at the boss. Yeah, so like I was saying, I got his toe cheese caught in my nose, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. You know, that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so here we are at the boss. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, oh, there's two of them. So this boss has twenty five hundred health. There's two of them on your screen? Yeah, I got two. There's only one on mine, so it sucks to be you, brother. Um, but oh, okay. this boss has 2,500 health. Uh, granted, the sink works. And it does 40, uh, 30 or 40 damage. So it is a formidable foe for somebody running around with a fucking cricket bat. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I'm beating this melanin, dude. It's about 10% dead right now, so... All I gotta do is circle it, brother. That's all I gotta do is just circle it. I'm literally yeah. spamming my WASD keys, bro. I'm just watching you, like, stand in the middle of them, just taking on two at once. <laughs> yeah, brother, you know me. I like to take it on two at once or none at all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I know that firsthand. Yeah, that's how I got his toe cheese stuck in my nose, though, because he was trying to get a better grip on my face, so he, like, climbed on it, and he stuck his fucking big toe in my nostril. <laughs> He was a solid 200-pound oh man, too. So all 200 pounds of this guy was being held up on my chin and my lower lip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not the, not the upper lip at all. Yeah, no, dude. He had that monkey grip, though, with his toes in my nose, bro. It was it was rough. I was bleeding afterwards, but it was all worth it in the end because he gave me $5. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Give me $5 oh and a half-ripped ticket to Disneyland. Now all Story I... time with Sully. That could be a series on its own, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Now all I have to do is find the other half of that ticket hidden somewhere in all the kilometers of the world, and I'll be able to go to Disney, bro. I'll be able to go to Disney. Yeah. yeah so um, for those of you who are watching, um, I have a question for all of you. So I noticed in my Fallout um, playthrough that I'm doing right now, my modded one, that my keyboard is kind of loud. Um, well, not kind of loud, but it's like you can hear it in the background a little bit. It can be distracting to Are you talking some about your people, keys clacking guess. together? Yeah, yeah, that too. Oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> but um, I was wondering if uh, you guys in the comments could like give suggestions Ooh. on like a quiet keyboard that you might have used before. Like if you have experience with one that you think is really quiet, I would love to see it. Um, because I really need to find a quiet one. I've been looking. I just can't find something that is as quiet as I want it to be, I guess. I'm telling you, that keyboard I recommended is she... Oh, my God. She got, like, super speed for a second there. She got tired of circling me. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I just pressed space to dodge, like, the F2. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm telling you, man, that keyboard I recommended is super silent. They actually have a keyboard. I'll have to tell you... What it, What do you want in terms of keyboard? Does it have to be, like, a mechanical keyboard that's, like, a gaming keyboard or just any keyboard that's silent? I just want one that's, like, I do want a gaming one, but I want one that's, like, quiet, you know? Because, like, at my work, dude, they have a keyboard there. It's it's not a gaming keyboard, per se, and I don't think it's a mechanical one. But, dude, it is so unbelievably silent, bro. I spent, like, five minutes the other day at work just clicking the keys on that keyboard, and it was, like, there was no noise at all. It was unbelievable. I'm about to, I'm about to be uh, um, level 12 when we go back. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm leveled up, brother. I'm just waiting for the uh, the good old outpost, and then uh, then I'll be good to go on that level up. And then I'll just put more, more, more into melee, except I need to find a better melee weapon. I have to see what level yeah. a hunting knife is, though, because if a hunting knife is technically a higher level than this cricket bat then I can buy a higher level melee weapon that might be better than this cricket bat. I just didn't use the hunting knife because it didn't do as much damage per hit, and that's what I really care about, yeah. is the damage per hit. Yeah, so after um, after this boss fight, and once we go back to the outpost, we're going to be headed to Dog Stockade, so our yeah. first uh, new outpost. It's going to be a it's gonna be a big move, and I'm a little scared of Dog Stockade. They got some scary-looking motherfuckers up there. I ain't going to lie. 
Yeah, mostly those Reapers, man. I'm scared of them. <laughs> Last time I was over there, I was level 256, and the motherfucker bucked me for my milk money, dude. <laughs> I ran by him. He All tripped right. me. I scraped my knee. I started crying like a little baby, and he was like, where's that white money at, brother? And I was like, the coke money? He was like, nah, dog, we don't do drugs around here. And you guys uh, might be able to hear uh, my wife in the background because she's playing a game with her brother. Um, just a uh, heads up for that as well. Yeah, I don't think the bad thing, like the bad thing about having your wife in the background isn't that you can hear her. I just think it's the fact that it makes the rest of us feel lonely. You, oh know, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fucking wish I had a wife. God damn it. Oh, man. I mean, you have a wife in me, man. Yeah, facts. Facts. That makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be your, I'll be your RuneScape girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Are you willing to yeah, remove dude. all of your teeth? Yeah, all of them. For obvious, you know, obvious reasons. Except for the top row, I can't get rid of those. Just the bottom row. Well, you better be good at moving that cock, brother. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, let's see what we get here. Nothing. Come on, watch it be nothing. Give me something good. Ooh, An SLA. It's a rifle. A blue a Zylon rifle. vest. I can put on a better piece of armor. Yes. This guy. Yes. Oh my gosh. I got a rifle. I'm happy, dude. Okay. Well, sick. We'll see you guys back at the uh, outpost. Yeah. And then I said, that's not my grandma. That's a toaster. Bro, I get my grandma. You know what I'm talking about? I get my grandmother mixed up for the toaster all the time because they're both ash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I said, I gotta piss so bad, I gotta piss like a racehorse. I'm seeing gold. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we decided to come in. He's not interested in me at all. He's literally walking away from me. There he goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We decided to come and do a second boss uh, because the other one only took six minutes. We thought because we had such shit gear that it would take longer. But uh, it turns out, no. These are just fucking shitter can bosses. Not to mention, it gives us the potential to potentially... It gives Brandon the potential to get an armor. It gives me a potential to potentially find... The potential to potentially, potentially find something. But if I could stop saying the word potentially... Um, Isn't the potential to potentially find something? Yeah, it gives me the potential to find something... I'll find a better weapon, per se. Um, unfortunately, nobody comment there were people who commented in on the video and i do appreciate that because i appreciate all of the activity on my channel but nobody told me what they wanted me to do per se in terms of my two uh my two classes so i think i'm just going to stick with melee for now and then if anybody watches this far into the video if you're watching this far into the video please Go down in the comment section and tell me what you would like me to see, uh, or what you would like me to see, what you would like to see my second class be. You know, you can make it as hard as me, as hard as possible on me, or if you want to see the videos, you know, go into, you know, a a further echelon, you know, like a higher echelon than what they did fucking last time. You know, like 20, 30, 40 videos. If you want to do machine gun, and you can do machine gun. If you want to make it as hard as possible on me, though. I'm up for the challenge, you know what I'm saying? I've been playing Dead Frontier a little bit longer than I was playing last time, so I think that my skill has increased just a little bit. I mean, look at these this WASD movement, brother. Like, I'm just spinning them. You spin me. Okay, I'll, I'll stop because that's copyrighted. <laughs> oh, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, Soul Entertainment TV and Poex. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my boy, you know what I'm saying? I... I I want an outsized share of you to go over, check out his content, because he is uploading content you will not find on this channel. He's also uploading content of your boy that you will not find on his channel. He records his own videos, um, you know, some of Tale of Two Wastelands for Borderlands, and sometimes just Dead Frontier or DF2 by himself, potentially. Um, and while I won't be recording, I'll still be in the... Uh, Discord. So, I mean, if you're trying to look for some extra content and you're trying to look for not only some extra Dead Frontier content, but some extra solely content and just some extra good content in general, um, you can head over to, to my boy's channel, Brandon. It will be down in the description below. Uh, and be sure to give, uh, tell him Big Papa sent you in the comment section. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how many comments he gets like that. 
I know that people and on YouTube are like, they're like squeamish to comment. Don't be squeamish to comment. Even if you want to comment something like, hey, you fat fuck, shut up and stop making YouTube videos. I'll still, <laughs> you know, comment it, you know, hit, hit hit me up, you know, let me, uh, let a brother know what you think. Yeah. And you, uh, you may or may not find a couple of videos where he, you know, may or may not be removing articles of clothing. I'm not going to disclose that. You know, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. put it out there. You know, you might find it. You might not. And unlike OnlyFans, you don't have to pay for that content because I'm just a hoe. I'll just remove my clothing just because. Yeah, he will. I've seen him do it. A motherfucker I'm on the street. Ha problems. He offered me half a fun size Snickers, and I got naked. <laughs> it wasn't even a. It wasn't even half of like a king size or a regular Snickers, bro. It was just half a fucking fun size ooh, Snickers ooh. bar. And your boy took everything off all the way down to his sack. I took my ball sack off too for that man. <laughs> He, yeah, he's like Mr. Potato Head. He can pull it off. Yeah, brother. That's what they call me in the streets, Dude, Mr. Potato Head. I'm not gonna lie. Because I, I gave a great right gate there. head. I gave... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I gate head. <laughs> I gate great head. I give great oh head, gosh. brother. He's thinking about that cast iron fence again. Bro, don't tell me about it. I. She's been sending me messages. Oh, maybe, really? Maybe I should say he, because if I say she, somebody's going to get me. I'm going to get me too for fucking sexually violating a female cast iron fence. So I should say he. He's been sending me messages. No way. Really? Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm, so you got back in contact with him again? No, I didn't get in contact with shit, but he, he contacted me. So it's been like two years now, right? And I'm yeah. thinking I'm in the clear. But all of a sudden, I get served papers. What? And I'm like, what is yeah. this shit? They didn't go that far. Bro, they really did. No and they said that, hey, you know, we're suing for damages because you blew my back out and now I can't walk. So, you know, now... And that's just a normal problem, you know? Exactly. I mean, every time, if I, if I fuck anything, even the jar of peanut butter, I'm blowing its back out. So... Oh, yeah, you have to. You're not you, doing it right otherwise. You know, like, now they're like, I can't walk. I've missed out on work. I haven't been able to see my kids. And... They they no, literally I literally can't papers. see them because every time they sit at the table, I just can't see above it because I don't have legs. Yeah, like, exactly. So, like, now I'm getting served papers. I have to go to court now. Hopefully I don't get imprisoned. I thought two years. I thought, like, statues and limitations is up for blowing the back out of a cast iron fence. But apparently not. So, you know, hopefully everything goes well with that and he, he can stop texting me because last night he sent me an unsolicited dick pic and... I don't know how that's going to hold up for him in court, but, you know. You screen capped it for proof. <laughs> Damn right. I also screen capped it because it was kind of big, but, you know. It, was kind of, it looked big in that picture. <laughs> yeah, it looked really big in that. It was a bottom up picture, which like adds three inches, but even still, it was like a, it was like a 16 inch dick. I'm not going to lie. It was a big <laughs> dick. Dang, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, that cast iron fence was packing cast iron fence. Oh, I found a Mastercrafted Bowie Knife 860. Fuck! That's a pretty good find. I found a cricket bat, dude. Let's go, dude. Damn, I All right. already have one of those pieces of shit. Can I even equip it? I can't. I, oh, I don't have 20 melee. That sucks, dude. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys when we get back to the outpost. Yeah, we'll see you. So I know that we said that uh, we were going to see you when we got back to the outpost, but we've been doing a little bit of looting, and I didn't want you guys to miss this loot. Uh, I found a Missini M1, so that's cool. Uh, I can't use it yet. I think I'll stash it, and maybe somebody will say that I can use shotguns. Please, I'm just saying. See you back at the outpost. Yeah, so like I was saying, that's how you get your dad to stop bothering you. Yeah, you know, I think my dad's dead. Um, however, last time I saw him, he was a junkie. And he was sniffing a person's feet at a bus stop for twenty dollars for pot. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Dang. It was it was pretty bad. I mean, it was my feet, but you know. <laughs> okay, so we are back. We had a successful double boss. I mean, I got a cricket bat, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but you know, it's not too bad. I think I'm just going to continue to do melee for now, just in case anybody wants to watch this part and and put down what they want me to do whether it's you know pistols rifle shotguns machine guns or explosives 
And I'm going to work on Endurance, because I don't need to do Strength yet. The Xylon Vest does not require Strength, so I'm doing pretty good right now. Um, I, wanted, I want you guys to be a, as much a part of this as possible, so I want you to see me scrapping the uh, Cricket Bat as well as the Blue Jeans. And honestly, even scrapping this... Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna keep the sports armor for now, just because I'm not gonna scrap the shotgun because I wanna I wanna keep that just in case somebody allows me to use shotguns. Um, and that's pretty much it. This stuff doesn't really sell for much. So, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button, subscribe button, and share button. Definitely leave a comment down below, letting me know what you want to see next and whether or not you liked it. And definitely be sure to turn on post notifications so that we can notified every time I upload a video because you're not gonna wanna miss what is next. Please be sure to do those things. We're trying to get the the impressions up. We're trying to get the click-through rate up. We are trying to get um, our subs up. We're trying to get to a 1,000 subs uh, so that way we can have a bigger family to share all this content with. Thank you guys so much for watching.